Hello, welcome to a quick demonstration of how to generate arrows in Tableau using uh, an Alterx Cloud Gallery app. Um, I've got a CSV data set with uh, longitudes and latitudes for some points. I've got origin points as well as destination points uh, that I want to draw the arrows between. I've got a weight that will determine the size of the arrow as well as the names of those origins and destinations and some superfluous fields as well. So what I'm going to do first is uh, dive right into the Ultrax gallery. I've already logged in and I'm going to find the Tableau Arrow at Generation app. I'm going to just load that up and run it. And using the browse button for my input file, I'm going to just very quickly upload that data into the uh, into the cloud application. What that will do is, uh, because some of those fields match, it's going to pre-select some of these options from the file. Other ones I'll have to go in and select. So the origin name is actually called origin on this file, and the destination is that destination name is actually called destination. I've also got a parameter I can set here for the US, 30 is about appropriate for the for the arrow size, but depending on the geography, you might want to change that. And there's some instructions on what might work well within the app. What we're then going to do is just run that. That's going to run in the cloud. The results will appear in the web browser and the output of this app uh, is a TDE, so we can work with it directly in Tableau. Ultrax uh, supports TDE formats natively, so uh, we can just work with that within Ultrax and, and generate the output, as I have done in this case, building this app. So that TDE comes through. We can just click on it and download it in our browser and open it straight away in Tableau. I'm going to give leave the default name for that. And then we'll work with it in Tableau. So I'm going to drag these IDs from the measures shelf where they've been put by default onto the dimension shelf and just change my marks to polygon. I'm going to just group by the polygon and sub polygon and drag the point ID to the path because that's the ordering of, of the points within the polygon. So that's this is just a default way of uh, working with polygon data within Ultra X. And then I'm just going to double click on the latitude and longitude to to pull that into a map visualization. We've got lots of origin and destination points as well on this map. So I'm going to drag in a filter and just filter by state and then add a quick filter just to uh, add a drop down on there so we can quickly flick between the states. Then we could do what we want so we can add the uh, the weight to the color, change the color in if we want. So I'm, I'm going to make this a, a nice red color. I'm going to remove the border and halo effect. And I quite like a dark map so I'm going to change that as well. As you can see, we immediately have the, the arrows generated via the app for those between those origin and, and point destinations, and we can work with it within our map in, in Tableau. So feel free to upload your data into that cloud application. You can you can work with it in exactly the same way with your data sets uploading it. If you want to see how that works in Alterx, feel free to click on the, the download tool. That will download this application into a copy of Alterx. If you don't have Alterx, then there's a a link you can download a trial version. See how I've built it. Look at the blog post as well, and uh, and and work through and uh, enjoy Ultrax because it's a fantastic way of working with Tableau. Uh, thanks for li listening. I look forward to hearing your comments.